Hey guys, this is V, Dumb in the Rough. I've been sitting here drilling for a bit and I thought, time for a whipping chat. So here we go. How you all doing? Stinking hot today. I'm actually at the point where I think I need to turn on the air conditioning. We are expecting 40 degrees. My house says it's cool a lot. Noticeably cool, but yeah, I think the air conditioning might need to go on. Uh, where am I at at the moment with what I'm doing? Completed kimono. I received <laughs> more dye moon. <laughs> and I am working on a 50 by 70 drift, which is an Anna Dittman uh, image picture uh, from dye moon shop. And it has special drills in it, which is really, really cool. Okay, so that's where I'm at to and what I'm working on, which is, this is obviously a round. OMG, my rounds go so much faster. Uh, yeah, so... Today is the 10th of December, which means another couple of days and the competition closes for the Kimono Special Limited Edition Kit prize drawing. So if you haven't gone in <coughs> and entered into that competition, please go in and have a look. Um, find the video that relates to <coughs> um, that prize. It actually does say competition, so it's not like it's hidden and you can't find it. It's there to see. I do believe that I might have the lowest ratio of comments. <laughs> so the odds if you guys that are subscribed and have been to the competition, your odds are pretty high. It's higher on my channel than any of any other ambassador channels. Mm. Next. No. Yes. <laughs> No, it's upside down, up the wrong way, there we go. Okay. Hi. Where'd the big one go? So funny, magnets just go missing under here. I thought I had a big one. <laughs> um, okay. So there you go, the drawing on that is on Friday. We actually record the drawing of that video. Of, we record the drawing and we send it through to Die Moon Shop. Die Moon Shop will actually do the announcement of the winners, which is absolutely brilliant, 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 brilliant. Tell you what, you can't really see the colours on this, on the camera. I just looked up. So yeah, that all the winners will be announced on Diamond Shop's um, YouTube channel. So yeah, you are just slightly better on my channel, which is really cool, which is really good. For those guys that are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. Um, hopefully, you will hang around for the long haul with me. Um, I do. Oh so, gosh, I'm pulling up the fact. I've just realised how much I am arming again. I have, yeah, if it, for you guys that have new to my channel, have a look around. There's some interesting tips and tricks. I do know that other YouTubers have seen stuff that I've done and added those onto their channel because they're really good tricks, tips and tricks to do. Uh, so, yeah. I've, I tend to 
think outside the box when it comes to what I do with diamond painting. I don't just go with the flow. It's like, oh, I like this happening, but I'm not really happy with it. How can I, how can I fix it? How can I make it better? And which brings me to all sorts of different ways to do stuff like dealing with, st dealing with static. I had a diamond painting where, oh my god, the static was so bad, so bad. I was so frustrated uh, that the next time I worked with a canvas from that company, I thought about how I'd fix the issue, which is where I ended up with my big drill tray and a dryer sheet and pouring the drills into the dryer sheet first, wrapping, rubbing them with the dryer sheet to remove the static. Because most of the time, staticky drills means good quality drills. And I will say at the Diamond Shop, I get staticky drills from every now and then. But a big dryer sheet does make a big difference. And I will try and remember to put that in the eye box for you guys to check out. Um, who was I watching? Oh, I was watching Rachel Ray the other day. And she was she was using the dryer sheet. Yeah. Next. Hmm. All right. So, what am I up to now? I've got one more. Uh, I've got a Christmas thing I'm involved in, so keep an eye out for that um, video for Christmas Day. So keep an eye out for that <coughs> uh, resin. I <laughs> I shipped off the serving board to Michelle for those that watched the serving board that I made where I made two using the oranges, one with the white background, one with the black. Uh, Michelle chose the one with the white background which means the orange really shows through. And so yeah, that was sent yesterday. And I think the estimated delivery on that one is Thursday, so which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Have to admit, Nathan is impressed with the fact that I've actually done something and I've sent it away. And so <laughs> he's turned around, he's like, oh, make more, make more. It's like, yeah, I do enjoy doing it, but it's, I don't want it as a thing that I feel like I have to do it. Sorry, I've just picked up a couple of symbols that I didn't, I haven't done. And the ice machine's making a little bit of a noise, so we'll just make that one happen. There we go. So yeah, the board's got, the resin board got serving platters, serving boards got sent off, well one got sent off yesterday and uh, being Tuesday, being Monday and it should arrive. <coughs> On Thursday. Okay. What else is going on? Pretty quiet actually. Moment. On to the process. Uh, so I'm working on drift, which is the 50 by 70. I have. <laughs> I will, oops, I don't think that was right. Silence while I concentrate with the uh, I have now put out my, my son's Christmas, well, okay. Last year I gave my son a Christmas present of the Soulmates 5 Panner, which is really big, really big. Uh, it was from Paint with Diamonds, so I ran out of drills and I have popping drills, so I had to seal it with, um, I used aqua glue, 
the Tombow Act for glue to seal it. So this time, so what he's getting for Christmas is actually the same picture, <laughs> but it will be all sealed under resin. So that's a big job. Uh, I have to start. I'll start on that on Friday. I start on that at the start of day shift. Oh gosh. Um, Actually, I probably will be starting it earlier than that, the night shift. Oh, I'll probably have to start that. I should start it today so I'll make sure it's fully set because it's five panels. They don't all fit on my table. Uh, so what I have to do is two will fit, two, the two smallest panels will fit on my table. So I'll get those two panels done at once and then everything else is individual. And... They're 24 hours, basically 24 hours after I've done the second or third coat that I can move them. So, yeah, it takes a bit of time. And then to actually apply the coats, the I need basically six hours for each coat to be applied. No, not each coat, six hours to have the three coats applied uh, because uh, you have to watch your timing because what I do is when I pour the resin down I do the first layer and then the second layer three hours later and then the third hours third resin layer the uh, three hours after that that way the resin is not set too hard That's it for those ones. That way the resin's not set too hard and the two layers, each layer will merge with each other um, because you need to do it in thin layers to build it up. So stay tuned for that one, although that video will not be released until after Christmas because he knows I have a YouTube channel and I've already learnt from his girl because of his girlfriend with Elsa, where I turned around and made a comment on my son's girlfriend's going to get that for Christmas. <laughs> and she was like, oh, apparently she was really excited because she, she, yeah, she watches my channel. <laughs> uh, which is, I framed it. <laughs> you haven't seen it framed. You show, I think I showed the frame that arrived, but I didn't show it being framed. Oops. Hmm, I did miss one symbol. Yeah, so I did, uh, yeah. No, that was a, a big learning of, whoops. I don't think my eldest son and his wife watch my YouTube channel. Um, I don't think I do. <laughs> I won't say fingers crossed I don't because, you know, I know my mum has my channel and she will watch it. I think because I have the channel, that she, she doesn't ring me as much because now she knows what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Was that funny or not funny? That's sad. Oops. There must be two magnets under there that's causing me grief. What happens when you have two magnets? That's one of those, that's why. It doesn't work well with that magnet. Now I know what's going on. That's better. Okay. Move this along. Oh my gosh. Nope, I need to, uh, to do it, to do it. Let's see if I can. There we go, that's better. Oh. 
Okay. Lift the washi tape. Then I do this so that I don't rip the plastic. I have a liking for the opaque covers. But I'm getting used to the clear. I've done enough do I want diamond shop clears that I should be used to it. But I just hate ripping the plastic and tearing it. Okay, dokie. Snip and pull that down. There we go. Okay, okay, and on to the A's, which is the 550s, which is a big quantity of colour. Look at that 550. So, what I'm going to do is I, Nathan and I went, <laughs> Nathan and I went camping the other day. Uh, those that are on the YouTube, on my Facebook group, you, you saw me with a little bit of the serenity um, heading there and uh, yeah, just the not, just getting on to dusk, oh, it was just beautiful. So we can't, we went more river and I'll put some video footage where we actually drove up more river so it was actually in the water um, yeah so I'll put some footage in there it's pretty cool hopefully you'll still get to have the music in the background of what we we're playing if not I'll have to try and find some music to put behind see what happens whether I get a copyright strike on the music. <clears throat> hmm. But it was so peaceful. And I'll put I'll put some pictures of our campsite. We we're pretty self sufficient. I have an ensuite which actually has two sections to it. One is the wet area and one is the dry. So one is the shower. Yes, we have a hot water system. We take a shower with us. Well, it's not that we take it with us. It's actually mounted on Nathan's four-wheel drive. So it's always there. But we also do take a porta potty 
uh, we take a chemical toilet. So we have one section is for the shower and the other section is for the toilet. And well, the section for the toilet and also obviously for getting dressed. First time we used, this is a new purchase. So I got that, we had been to a full drive show a few weeks ago. Um, and I got that and absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And Nathan even likes it. So Nathan is um, works at a camping store. And, uh, you know, I turn around and talk to him about stuff that I want when we go camping. And he goes, no, it doesn't work, doesn't work. You don't want that. Or, oh, don't go that brand. We can, I can get it for you cheaper because, you know, we get, we get a pretty good discount. So uh, this one I was just telling him about and he looked at it on YouTube as you do. He checked things out on YouTube and he's turning around and going, oh, no, we can get something similar to that. And then when we did the, when we went into the four-wheel drive show, I went and had a look at it and showed him because I'd seen it every, we'd been, every year we've been to the four-wheel drive show, I've seen it gone. I'd like to get that. So... We, he had a look at it and then I turned around and asked the price and I pulled Nathan away and I said, can your company do this at this price? And he went, no, it's a good buy. So I went, okay. <laughs> so I went and bought it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and he was impressed with it. He wasn't impressed with setting it up purely because I put him in the wrong spot for us to set it up. But the tent in itself, the, the ensuite in itself was pretty good. But yeah, so the photos are going to show, we have um, an annex that comes off of our four-wheel drive. It's a ute. It comes off of the four-wheel drive. You know, the utes, we have a canopy. And it comes off the side. We also have another side to the annex that drops down. And underneath that little drop down section, we actually have our swag. If I've got a picture of the swag, I will put it in here somewhere. But yeah, we went four wheel driving and <clears throat> had some good, had a good relax. I needed it. Um, I had a hellish, not my last night shift, but that's my second last night shift was uh, absolute horrible, horrible, horrible time. We had what is called a near miss. And it's still, it's still affecting me now. So what we call a near miss is where basically a train nearly hit something or someone.
and then uh, and then I think it's about three hours later there was another incident where I worked where a gentleman someone had an accident in in their four-wheel drive so that was a very bad night bad night nobody was injured which you know that that nobody was injured which is a big thing you know in what we do um when anything happens any event happened yes it's a bad event you know we get there and say oh couldn't have you know it, it, it could have been much worse and then you actually turn around and say well it could have been there could have been a fatality that's what makes things worse um yeah but mm, i needed the weekend i needed a camping trip without any distraction uh without uh, if we went away and we had no well i mean on the way there we did but we had no no internet no phone service it was a complete complete relax uh, <laughs> It was a funny, complete relax because then by the time, like I was, I was out with a camera and I'd gone up the river with a camera and I'd sat in the water and taken photos of the river around me, um, which I put some photos in still of that. Um, and then, so we pitched up our, our camp, set up our campsite. finished or taken photos around and come back to the campsite and then I'm sitting there and I can't sit still and I'm getting up I'm getting down and Nathan's just turned around and said you can't handle this <laughs> oh, what do you mean he said you can't be you are struggling to sit still and do nothing so you look at me now I am yes I'm sitting still but I'm doing something and that's always been um, a thing for me. I can't sit still unless I've got something to do, which I've got in my hands, which is, yeah. Mm. But yeah, he's like, you just can't sit still. You can't sit still and enjoy the peace. Mm. <laughs> that's like, oh. But go and have a nap. <laughs> go and have an afternoon siesta. I can handle that. <laughs> so I've gone and climbed into the swag. And he's also climbed in to have, a, have an afternoon nap too. And that was about three in the afternoon. Half past five, I've woken up. He's been, you know, he's gotten out of the swag. Not disturbed me because I, I sleep through so much. Um, but yeah, he's gotten out of the swag and he was up and around and doing stuff. And yeah, and he's going, you slept well. It's like, yeah, needed it. Hmm. And then we just sat around again. Well, actually, no, we didn't. Sit. Well, he sat around. I got up again with my camera and took some more photos because at this point of time, the moon was up. So... Uh, I've, I've taken a picture, I'll show it here, where um, I have a very good zoom on my camera. So I took a picture of this moon, a couple of pictures of the moon, so hopefully they you like that. It wasn't, so we still had a, a, yeah, the moon was up and it was, but it was still daylight. But it's, yeah, very, very pretty, very nice. That's custom worthy, actually. Hmm. But yeah, I keep walking around with my camera and my tripod trying to take pictures of other stuff. And then I think, oh, it's too early for dinner. And then I've looked at the time and it was <clears throat> seven o'clock at night. I went, yeah, no, it's time for dinner. When we camp, I do not cook. 
uh, with the way Nathan has set up the ute. <laughs> He's built the cooker, the, the gas stove into uh, the, the you know, into the four wheel drive, which is really cool. But I can't reach the stove. So he's you know straight out any camping we do I can't cook because unless he gets me he gets me something to stand on. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he cooks dinner. We had dinner, and then we did. We sat back and out came the camera again because I've got to do something. Just got to do something. But out came the camera again. And um, we got serenaded by the frogs. So you get some footage here where there's no light or you can see a torch, but the frogs were going off. We had crickets and frogs going off. So hopefully you'll enjoy those bits. So I have enjoyed those. Mm. Yeah, so we we ended up, oh my God, we ended up, you know, like hours just listening to the frogs and um, just listening to the night noises. And then it was, we had a bit of a, a bit of a drizzle. Um, yeah, so we've moved under the canvas, under the annex, and both of us has picked up our phones and we started playing games on our phones. So we didn't go completely technology free because we ended up playing games on our phones. But then at <laughs> one stage it was like, oh, it's after 11 o'clock, so we've gone to bed, climbed to the swags. Some stage through the night, I'd be, yeah. Um, so in the morning, Nathan cooked breakfast, had, had a reasonably good sleep. Cook, he cooked breakfast, we, we broke camp and headed back home. We had a bit of an incident <laughs> with the baby. <laughs> Here we go, off laughing again. Oh my gosh. Uh, so this is where, mm, funny part of the story. And, and shh, don't tell Nathan I told you. <laughs> um, so we were heading back home. We are still out in the bush, so we are still on the dirt track. Um... I'll put some video footage in of the dirt track only, not the incident. I didn't get footage of that. It would have been too funny, but not funny. Uh, but we got to one point and Nathan's pulled up the vehicle and gone, I need to take a leak. So okay. So he's <laughs> here we go. So he's gone and taken a leak and he's come back. <laughs> and he goes, I 
I got stung by a bee on the dick. <laughs> oh, I so hope my family's not hearing this. But basically, <laughs> as he says, he was standing there holding it, just looking around, and he's looked down, and there's this bee. <laughs> And then he proceeds to tell me about having to pull the stinger out. Um, yeah, and he's got everything and he goes, and then he turns around and he goes, how do you know if you're allergic to bees? And I said, you're going to know pretty quick. And he goes, well, I've been stung before and never, the only thing that happened was it just stung. It didn't, there was nothing else happened. I said, well, you'll be, probably be fine. But, you yeah. know, let me know if there's any swelling. <laughs> and I actually turned around and said to him, do you want me to have a look at it? <laughs> and he's like, no. <laughs> uh, so let's just say he was... <laughs> oh, God, this is just funny. So we, <laughs> he, you know, he's got in the vehicle and he's driving back and... He's, he's in discomfort. He's like going, oh, it's stingy. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, so yeah, we've gotten back uh, to the road and he's, because when you go forward driving, you get air down the tyres and so he's been out and pumped them up again and he's gone and had another leak and, and checked it, <laughs> checked it out. <laughs> And yeah, he he's gone. It's okay. There's no swelling. It, it got him on the side. Okay, so just just so you're not imagining anywhere else. I'll just say it was on the side. And then he turns around, and we're we're on our way back home. Well, we go. We made a couple of pit steps on the way home, but on our way home, he turns around and says. Uh, on the way, I, I turn around and say to him, you're going to tell Aaron about this, aren't you? So Aaron's his best mate. I said, you're going to tell Aaron about this. And he's like, no, and you're not going to tell anybody. Yes, I'm telling you guys. Um, there's a, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but, yeah, you, you'll hear more about why I'm getting away with telling this story. Yeah. So, yeah, he got... He got stung by a bee. Uh, when we actually did get back towards into the city where we'd got phone range, he actually rang up his best mate. And and it just gets funnier because he rings him up, has a chat about the camping, and then he turns around and he goes, don't get stung by a bee on your dick. And Aaron's like, what? And then the conversation there was just so funny that uh, I'll tell you what I was laughing I was laughing so hard mm. yeah so yeah that one happens and then he then he's you know, on the phone then we finishes on the phone with Aaron I said that didn't take long you'd tell him you get a phone runs you tell him within five minutes of being on the phone here he said yeah I know and then still about 20 minutes later, he gets on the phone and rings his brother up and he turns around and says, oh, we're on our way home from camping. Don't get stung on the dick by the bee. <laughs> oh, my God. It was just... Um, I was laughing and coughing because I was struggling for air because I was coughing so much because his brother's reaction is uh, was just a classic. Um, and I won't repeat that, but, yeah, it was just, oh, my God, how the hell did you manage that? <laughs> just, oh, my God, it was just so funny. You know, the being stung wasn't funny. But the fact that he turns around and says, oh, I don't tell anybody. And then within 
being in phone range, he rings his mate up and then he rings his brother who's on the other side of the country to tell him all about it. Um, and I turned around and was like, well, you've told those two, it's going to make a good story for YouTube. So guess what? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's one of those stories that was just, that was just absolutely brilliant. It was serious at the time. Trust me, it was serious at the time. You don't know whether there's going to be an allergic reaction and what's going to happen. Um, yeah, because then with the bees thing, Nathan's like, going, yeah, how do you know you're allergic? And I said, well, I know I'm allergic because of my reaction. Um, and that's where he's like, oh, well, I've been stung by a bee and nothing happened except that it just stung. It's like, okay, well, I'd say you're not allergic. For me, I've been stung three times. Um, I'm not anaphylactic but uh, I swell up. Um, I have been stung here and I've swelled up from here all the way up to my shoulder. I couldn't bend my arm in any way. You know. So I turned around and I was telling him all about it. I said, you know, my allergic reaction is that I swell up and you know, it's like, are you swelling up? Is it getting bigger? <laughs> oh, God. It's just so funny. And I hope you guys are enjoying the humour of this and you're laughing along with me. But, yeah, it was just... It wasn't a good ending, but it was a good ending to a camping trip because it's just given us something to laugh about. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I couldn't go to work and tell that story because if anybody meets Nathan, the likelihood of you guys on YouTube meeting Nathan is very slim. Unless, of course, you're my family and then... You're going to, probably going to hear about it at Christmas time anyway. It's a story that's going to come out at Christmas time. <sighs> yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Rachel Ray, if you're watching this, that was what I meant by on YouTube, <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> oh. So for you guys that are in the, in, in the US and you get there about, Australian animals that just, we have some interesting, deadly Australian animals. And you guys also have bees. I do believe you have bees. And he got stung by a bee, you know. It can happen anywhere in the world that has bees. Oh, so, yeah. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Didn't so when we were camping, saw a, we saw a couple of oh we saw a couple of kangaroos near the campsite. They weren't that clear close. They just jumped around across the other side of the river. Um, and we saw some emus, not close, thankfully. Um, then the other bitey things. Oh my god, the other bitey things that were there. We have oh. Oh, skin crawls, ticks. There was ticks there. Uh, when we go camping, sometimes we take bow. Uh, Nathan went camping up there a couple of weekends ago and he turned around. With, he went up there with his mates. But he turned around and he said there was ticks. And it's like, well, shall we talk, take bow? And I've gone, well, if there's ticks, no way. You can't take bow. Not if there's ticks. I'm not, not for what ticks can do to dogs. You just don't take the risk. Even when you give them all the medication protection, it, it's still not worth the risk. But yeah, uh, we came across, I had, I came across three ticks. One had actually crawled up my leg and the other two were just on, on things. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're the body things that I don't like. And the spiders. I don't like spiders. Hmm. But I think that's about it. Back to work tomorrow. Ooh. 
excuse me, yawn. Yep, back to work tomorrow. Two days, three nights. I'll probably post this. Well, I've got a video I've just released. Hang on a sec, guys. So I've got a video that I've just released, which is the unboxing of Diamond. I will release the kitting up a couple of days later. Um, I'm going to try and, I don't, I'm one of these people that doesn't like scheduling videos. It's like I do it and then I upload it. So you can see in real time what I'm doing. Um, you'll see that, you know, I might go to four or five days without uploading video. That's generally because I've been at work. Um, and I haven't been able to, I may have recorded, but I haven't been able to edit because um, editing takes a bit of time because I like to play with things. My next attempt at editing will be trying to cut out the ums in my videos. <laughs> uh, if I can work out that process, uh, God, it'll be so much better for you guys because I say um and so too much. Oh. Pardon me, another yawn. I'm not yawning as bad as I normally am. I was supposed to do a live today. I normally do lives on Tuesdays, but I, um, let's put it this way, I slept in. I woke up at quarter to nine, which is about 15 minutes before Laura goes live. So I... I won't. I, I have previously gone, done, done my live, and then gone. Okay, Laura's on, so go watch Laura. I, you know, for pet channels that I watch, if I know that they're doing a live, I will make sure that I am off, and I will direct those people that anyone that is in my live, I will direct them to the next live. If I know they're going live, hmm. but. I think that's about it. I think I've covered everything. Um, got to do some more resin work. I was going to do a light. That was what I was going to do today. It was a light resin pour. Mm. Obviously, it didn't happen. I was actually very surprised. I forgot to set my alarm. Is more the issue. On my days off, I have two alarms set. <laughs> One is, I generally get up with the first one, but if I don't get up with the first one, the second one I get up to <laughs> And it's not like they're five minutes apart. The first one is like seven, 20 past seven in the morning and the next one is about quarter to nine. So you know, it's not like I'm going to have the alarm going off 10 minutes later. Um, I do give it a bit of a spacing. Yeah, I think I've run out of things to say. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this whip and chat. Um, hopefully you haven't wet your pants with my little story about Nathan. Um, I nearly did. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, guys, I will... Leave me a comment. What do you think about anything that I've spoken about today? Um, yeah, it's oh, it's an absolute crack up. But yeah, let me know what you like me chatting about. Is there anything that you would like me to cover in any of my topics? Like if I do a whip and chat, is there anything you'd like me to talk about? Um, I've got an idea <coughs> um, for... 
about quokkas I want to do I'm going to do a video about quokkas so a whip and chat where um, information about quokkas because you guys don't see much in the way of, of that uh, of Australian animals and there's been a big craze fairly recently about quokka selfies um, so yeah I will do want to do a bit of a whip and chat on that um, uh, what else? What else can they do? Yeah, give me some suggestions on, on what you'd like for Whip and Chat. If you've got a, a tag list that you'd like me to talk about, let me know. Um, jump in Facebook group. Um, details of my Facebook group is below. You will see there's an Instagram account too. Uh, however, I don't post much to the Instagram account. Um, which is probably why one of my reasons my channel hasn't grown because I don't use much social media. Um, but uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below. Join the Facebook group. Send me a message if you have a, a tag list you'd like me to do um, to get to know me, or you've just got questions you'd like me to answer. Um, more than happy and willing to share. Probably with the videos, ah, just start to the cameras. Some of the video footage that I'm going to add in here will probably bring this video out to an hour for a whip and chat. That's pretty reasonable. And um, I'll uh, say thank you for joining me. Leave your comments down below. And um, while you're down there, keep it clean. Hit the subscribe button. And then hit the bell to be notified of uh, my next time I upload. But guys, I hope you have a uh, fantastic day, night, whatever. And um, I will talk to you later. Bye for now.